Hello guys and welcome to our another example on Visual Basic. Today we'll be looking into picture box. Uh, for this case, we'll be looking into two two cases. One is using a button to display a picture box, and the next is using another button, two buttons, to clear the image from the picture box. So right now, first case is we're just gonna put in a button here, and the next is we're just gonna go into toolbox and type picture box. So you can just pretty much drag and drop in it. And if you notice in the properties, the name of the picture box is picture box one by default. And you want to display the picture, what kind of size that you want to display is in here. You can choose stretch image. I'm just going to use stretch image as an example. Later on, you can actually try how do you want your picture to be displayed. Next, we go into the code. And since we know the design name is actually picture box one, so you just type in picture box one and I want to put in image inside here. So next, you just need to put in the image dot and from file because the image is actually a form of file and uh, you just need to know that what kind of file that you want to display in the image box. So you just need to put in here and if you notice here, it returns file name as string so you just need to put in a double dot a double line here and you have to put in the location of the file plus with the name of the file my file is actually on desktop so I'm just gonna put in here my name and I have to make sure that the format of the file is correct so I just put in JPG and of course you can see here in my file is actually JPG so go in here Click save, start the thing, and you just need to click in the button, voila, my picture is actually being displayed. However, what if I want to clear the picture? What if I add in another button so that I don't want to display this picture and then I just click the button one to display the picture again? So right now we just need to go into the design and then put in another button and this time this button, if it's clicked, is going to clear the picture off. That's the idea. So we just go in here and we just need to type in picture box one, image equals to, sorry, put here dispose. So you can see here, releases all resource used by this image. Supposedly, this should actually help the picture box to dispose the image within the picture box once this button is being displayed. If we click start, button one displays picture. Button two still, it doesn't it doesn't really dis dispose the picture. So what we can do here is maybe we can actually try to assign a variable for the picture. Since the the Visual Studio will be using this variable to call the picture, and once it's being used, we can actually use the button two to dispose the variable. Probably that might work. So I'm just going to type in here dim picture as string because this is a string that we'll be putting in into the image from file function. So it's a string. We just need to call this. We just need to take this line and put it here. From file, I'm just going to put my picture but there is some minor changes that I need to change on this code. I just need to remove the dispose and just put here nothing. So which means from this code, the idea is picture box one calls the picture, put it into the picture box one and displays the image. On, picture, on the second code, it will actually make the picture box become empty. So in other words, it's more like just releasing the variables and make the picture box empty. So we're just going to start this. You can see the form is up. Picture box one displays the image as I click button one and picture box and, and in button two, it goes off. So this is pretty much how you can actually use to manipulate uh, picture box. And of course, you can try a lot of examples in this. But this is just one simple basic example on how to use a picture box. Thank you.